Yo, what's going on, PokeChamps? This is your boy Infamous Trainer, and two weeks ago, I showed off the evolutions of our starters for the Neos region. Which, for those who do not know, this is my own Pokemon region. In the first video, we actually created the starters, giving us a nice outline for what they may be in the future. Then we made their evolutions, and now it's time to make their final forms. Hopefully everything will come full circle and you guys will come to really love these Pokemon and make them a part of your team. Now of course, if you didn't check out the first two videos to learn the concept of these Pokemon, I recommend you go over and check out the first two. Also, don't forget to leave a like on the video, hit the subscribe button, but if you guys are ready, let's look into your future partner Pokemon. Starting off with Twigaby, which of course is cute and loves being by your side, your right hand Pokemon. As it evolves into Hot Plant, it becomes more independent, definitely wanting to stand on its own two feet or tail. Alongside gaining the fighting typing, which some may say Hot Plant can be a little bit cocky. In this region, it represents the non magic users in Black Clover being our Pokemon that's going to be definitely more on the physical side for sure. It'll become more level-headed and protect the ones that it loves in nature, of course, becoming one with the land, the trees, the grass, and everything around it. Diving into the design, I wanted to create something that was confident, but also could be nurturing to not only its partner, but also all the Pokemon around it, being the protector of nature and a peak performer in physical strength. Now I have to give a huge shout out to whom yes in the discord who helped me put this design together. I did some simple tweaking but he really laid down the groundwork for this design so I can't thank him enough for it. The design came out really good showing a more physical peak performance of a Pokemon making it pretty muscular but also really sweet having the shrub on its leg kind of adds more of that grassy feel long grass ears to show its growth and lastly its tail to show how much it's been training to make itself stronger not only has the tail gotten longer and overall thicker but it, it looks absolutely destructive meaning don't come at this pokemon unless you're gonna have something that can really take it on mess around with the colors a bit worked on some shading skills and here is the final design we have shrubberoo the brawler pokemon the grass and fighting type shrubberoo spends countless hours training their body and more importantly their tail for intense battles. Shrubberoo's tail has small branches that can puncture other Pokemon, making it a lethal weapon in battle. It's also known to slam its tail down incredibly hard. Not to mention, its tail is strong enough to shatter mountaintops with just one swing. Now for its name, it's based off of shrub or shrubbery, of course the type of plant, and kangaroo, which of course is the animal it's based off of. But it does have a hidden ability, which is called soul power. A brand new ability that causes the power of affected kicking or feet based moves to increase by 20% which is pretty close to an Iron Fist, but it more deals with kicking type moves, which I think is really awesome. It also has a new signature move called Splinter Slam, which is 90 damage, 100% accuracy, and the description reads, it uses its tail to slam against the opponent. Once slammed, it uses the smaller branches and extends them to puncture the Pokemon, causing it pain before it releases it with a throw. This move sounds epic, and I think fits it super well with the way the tail looks of course can't forget the shiny but this may change in the future but overall it does flow pretty well with the first two stages but let me know in the comments down below are you guys still team grass in your neos region adventure now let's move on to our fire starter Charwool. It's cute, it's cuddly, and a Pokemon that is known for bringing many trainers good luck and a fan favorite amongst the Royals and wealthy. As it evolves into Bob Blaze, it becomes more confident, some may even say more snooty. But as time passes, it learns that it wants to protect the ones that it loves. And not to mention, this Pokemon got a bit of a redesign. I have to give a huge shout out to L who helped me out with this as it now flows into the final evolution a lot better. As it evolves into its final stage, it really embraces wanting to protect everyone that it loves and it meets on its adventure, especially its main partner, that being you, the trainer. It's very aware of its status, but does not boast to other Pokemon or people. As many legends say, this Pokemon helped out the less fortunate when possible. Now when it came to this design, I know a lot of you wanted me to keep this Pokemon on all fours, as originally I was going to do that, but there is so many different versions of a sheep 
fire Pokemon because of the Chinese Zodiac and most don't tend to be on two feet unless it's an ox and that's more of a Minotaur. I wanted to keep this design clean but elegant by having the cape it adds a nice kind of fancy look to the Pokemon. Then by adding the additional fur to the outer cape and even neck lining it made it look even fancier as if it's wearing a robe and it's stepping into its castle, giving it some nice clean long horns, of course the nice vibrant orange and reds, and there we have it guys, we have Ramjestic, the royal Pokemon and a brand new fire and steel type. Of course its name coming from Ram and Majestic as it looks very majestic as it's in a nice elegant pose. Ramjestic is known for its status and elegance amongst Pokemon and people. It's gained the steel typing by hardening its wool coat by a thousand times over in order to protect everything that it loves. When enraged or in battle, the flame on its head will reach temperatures up to 5,500 degrees. It also holds the status of Royal Pokemon alongside Slow King and Superior. Of course, like any other fire starter, its main ability is Blaze, but it does have a hidden ability. This ability is called Thermal, to where no fire moves will be affected by rain or any other weather condition. As I tend to imagine in the Steel Wool, it stores away some of its fire firepower there to keep itself warm. It of course gets two brand new moves, the first one being its signature move called Regal Flare, which it uses the flames in between its horns to aim a powerful blow of royal flames at the target. Regal Flare will thaw out the user if it's frozen and then inflict damage on the target. It also has a 20% chance to burn the target. So it's a pretty powerful move. But it does have another move that's not exclusive to the Pokemon, but a move it learns on level up called Solar Flash. The Pokemon flashes its opponent with a shining light that blinds them and hurts their vision. The move lowers the opponent's accuracy by one stage and confuses them. I may have to do a bit of balancing on this move, but overall it sounds like a move that definitely will become an irritation, and of course we cannot forget the shiny as I wanted to go for more of a royal color palette with more purples because purple tends to represent royalty really well. So I went for that, but it may change in the future. Overall, I like the design and I really love Ramjestic. This Pokemon seems really epic, so let me know, are you still Team Fire and your Neos region adventure? Alright, last but not least, the Water Starter. This being Agwaki is a very unique Pokemon with a combination of a water and electric typing and its fun is energetic and as it evolves into Wadaki, it shows more of its uniqueness in its overall design. Learning more about its powers and how to balance the swiftness of water Water and the shocking ability of electric. Now I knew for the final evolution I had to do something epic and by far this was the hardest design to get done. I went through so many different sketches, ideas before we landed on a final design. Now I have to give a huge shout out to Steven Pixel, L, and Dark and Windy for assisting me with this process as this Pokemon again was the hardest to make but I wanted to make sure overall it felt like a grown version of Agwaki. We actually mixed in some other elements of possible ways water and electricity could work harmoniously and the best way we got that represented was through a thundercloud and kind of representing like a storm like feature. So we played that into the design and kind of gave it more cloud like features on its head, tail, and feet. The thing is going to be very quick so I thought it'd be cool to have more of a drifting look to it which made tons of sense. Then of course made the rest of the body pretty spike which added some great contrast. Throwing in a lightning bolt tail. Then of course the water bubble features on its knees, hands, and waist which made it look really different. Added in some great colors to contrast giving it that thundery look. Some nice shading and some nice lighting to show that flow of energy. And I present the thunderstorm pokemon. Babble, a water electric type. Babble is known for its incredible speed and power, able to use its speed to blitz past opponents like lightning striking. Upon contact with their fist, it sounds like claps of thunder because the consistent flow of energy going throughout its body it tends to glow. The brighter the energy, the stronger it becomes. Again guys, I love this design and I love this whole entire line. It's very unique with the water and electric typing and again this Pokemon is made to represent the Heart Kingdom as they are filled with tons of unique magic knights over there and that just kind of shows in Babel's design and overall power. Now just like any other water starter is gonna have the ability torrent but I'm actually giving this Pokemon two hidden abilities the first one being a brand new one called Watt Arena which makes the Pokemon immune to electric type moves and will activate when hit by one 
when activated, the power of the electric type Pokemon's moves are increased by 50% making any electric type move Bat Boat does extremely powerful. Maybe a really good Pokemon for double battles. And for the other ability, I'm gonna give it Levitate. For those who don't know, Levitate renders the Pokemon with the ability immune to damaging ground moves. It is also unaffected by Arena Trap, Spikes, Toxic Spikes, Sticky Web, Rollotiller, and Terrain. Let me just say, the Thunderstorm Pokemon is going to be one of the best starter Pokemon of all time. It also comes with two brand new moves, one that's exclusive to it being Bolt Geyser, which is a 100 damage attack with 100% accuracy, and this move works like Flying Press. It deals damage as it is a water type move, but deals a combination of water and electricity type damage. So of course, depending on what it faces, it's gonna be super effective whether it's a water or electric type move and then also through level up we have a brand new move called monkey dance this was inspired by the Pattus monkey as when they're actually running it looks like they're dancing which of course is the monkey that we based Agwaki off of and this is a stat boosting move monkey dance raises the user's attack speed and special attack by one stage this will be also given to other Pokemon like the Slacking line, the Pan and Semi line, the Darmanitan line, and of course, Rillaboom line and the Infernape line. I gotta show some representation for other Pokemon that I love, and this is a great way to do so. And of course, here's the Shiny. I think it looks really cool, but it may change as well. I'm still deciding on how I want to keep the Shinies going. Now, of course, the big trend that you may be looking in my region and in the starter Pokemon is that they are very powerful. When I set this up to be a potential Pokemon fan game, I actually want to have this game be pretty difficult. So it's not going to be your everyday average Pokemon game where you jump in. No, it's going to have some challenges for you to make it a bit more challenging, as most Pokemon games tend to be very easy. So I want to kind of give you a strong starter Pokemon to take you through this very difficult journey you're going to be facing with gym leaders, evil teams, elite four, and possibly a champion league. Now I want to say thank you to Pixel Steven, L, Whom Yes, Dark and Windy, and all of you guys for helping me get this series started. There is still so much to do, but I'm super excited to show you guys some of the potential new Pokemon, regional forms, and characters you guys are going to meet in this potential Pokemon fan game. Hopefully you guys did enjoy the content and if you did make sure you check out the other two videos share it out to a friend hit that subscribe button and leave a like on the video that lets me know that you guys are enjoying the content and you guys are enjoying this series and let me know in the comments down below what starter that you're going with on your neos adventure me personally i think agwaki is my boy so expect to see him around a lot more anyways i'll see you guys next time thank you guys for watching bye